The notes that we've covered so far are the same as the first seven letters of the alphabet, which correspond to the white keys on the keyboard. All of these natural notes can be either raised or lowered using symbols that we call accidentals. These accidentals give us the chance to access the black keys on the keyboard. The first accidental that we will look at in this lecture is a sharp. A sharp raises a note by a half step. C, raised up a half step, turns into C sharp. Moving on, G natural, up a half step, becomes G sharp. And from there, D natural, raised a half step, is D sharp. And finally, F natural, raised up a half step, turns into F sharp. Here are the sharps as they correlate to the black keys on the keyboard. The next type of accidental to look at is a flat, which lowers a note by a half step, the exact opposite of a sharp. E natural, lowered a half step, sounds like. G natural, lowered a half step, moves to G flat. E natural again, an octave below, lowered a half step. And finally, we've got A natural, moving down a half step to A flat. And here are the flat notes as they correlate with the black keys on the keyboard. Notice that the black keys share the same pitch for both the flats and the sharps. So here are the two accidentals that we've covered so far, flats and sharps. Next we'll take a look at measures and bar lines. Music is notated utilizing measures, each of which are separated with the use of a bar line. Now let's look at how bar lines affect accidentals. When you introduce an accidental into a measure, it affects all of the other notes on the same line or space until the end of that measure. Looking at this diagram, the first note with an accidental attached to it is a B flat, so it is assumed that the note after it on the same line is also a B flat and does not require another accidental. Because bar lines cancel any accidentals from the previous measure, Looking at this diagram, the first note of the second measure goes back to a B natural. The third thing to take from this diagram is that a natural sign cancels any previous accidental returning a pitch to its natural level. So here, the note B flat returns back to B natural after the use of a natural sign. The next accidentals that we will cover are double flats and double sharps, which you might guess alter notes by two half steps or a whole step. Shown here, an E natural moves down a half step to E flat and a second half step to E double flat. In this next example, a C natural moves up two half steps to C double sharp. Let's take a listen. C natural raised two half steps becomes C double sharp. In the next example, G natural lowered a whole step becomes G double flat. In the bass clef, A natural lowered two half steps becomes A double flat. And finally, F natural raised a whole step or two half steps becomes F double sharp. So let's quickly go over what we've learned thus far. 
A natural cancels any sharp or flat in the measure, returning the note to its natural state. A sharp raises a note by a half step, while a flat lowers a note by a half step, and a double sharp raises a note by two half steps, while the double flat lowers a note by two half steps. And the final topic we're going to cover in this lecture from Dr. J's music lessons has to do with the term enharmonic equivalent. An enharmonic equivalent, which is something we've seen quite a few times already in this lecture, is a pitch that is notated differently but sounds the same as another pitch. So in our first example, C sharp is notated differently but sounds the same as D flat. Or here, we've got F flat, which is again notated differently but sounds the same as E natural. And finally, E sharp sounds the same as F flat but is notated differently. Looking at this keyboard, we can see that every note with the exception of A flat and G sharp have three different note names attached to it. You'll start seeing these types of equivalents and double sharps and double flats much more often when you get into modes and major scales and minor scales that utilize more accidentals. To recap what we've learned in this lecture, a natural cancels any sharp or flat, a sharp raises a note by one half step, a flat lowers a note by a half step, and a double sharp raises a note by two half steps, and double flats lower notes by two half steps. Music is notated using measures or bars, and these measures are separated with the use of a bar line. Accidentals affect all of the notes on the same line or space that they are affecting until the end of the measure. A bar line cancels any accidentals from the previous measure. A natural cancels any previous accidentals, returning a pitch to its natural level. And last but certainly not least, the term enharmonic equivalent refers to a pitch that is notated differently but sounds the same as another pitch.